Maybe it'll come to order. And good morning, everyone, and welcome back. And it's great to see some familiar faces and some new faces. And um, let me tell you, the board is disappointed that as disappointed as you are that we're not in person. We wanted to be in person, but according to you know the current facts that we find in the newspapers, that we felt it was safer for our membership to continue the zooming. So um, here we are. And while we're talking about that, please be muted if you would like to be, if you're not a board member. Um, you know, uh, we appreciate your kindness with that. And Dan is recording this for us to have on wherever it goes into the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> and also for Evelyn, so she can record it later herself. Um, yes, so uh, I thank you, Dan, for doing that and for everything that you do for us. Um, anyway, um, I guess we're going to move on to minutes. Evelyn. Okay. Well, um, good morning. Um, glad to see all of you. Um, could I please have, oh, there's Pat. Could I please have a, a motion to accept the minutes from the last yes, meeting? I make a motion. Karen, okay, second. Karen, make you. a motion. Someone else for a second? And a second. Judy, second. Thank you. Okay. Move to a second. All in favor? Any discussion of the minutes? Any corrections? We usually, for those who are new to this and joining us new, we usually have three proofreaders who look them over so that it's it expedites the whole situation. And so it should be a correct one. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. No. Yes. I only have um, Mary Lou graciously um, said she would audit next next month or this meeting, but and I had asked Leela, but then yesterday she got back to me that because she thought we were going to be in person, she made other plans, and so she's not going to be attending. So I need somebody else from the attendance <laughs> people that are attending today. Um, anyone else want to? Uh, I Karen, I, I will. Judy, okay. Judy and Rita. Thank you. Good. Anything else that you needed to add, Evan? I don't think so. Okay. We're moving along quickly because there's a lot to talk about because, you know, we were, the board usually goes um, dark over the summer. And so uh, we did, because we have some things coming up this year, we ended up having a meeting in August. So that was an unusual thing, but it, it's kind of fun because there's lots of things going on that we need to talk about. So Evelyn will be busy recording this. And um, after that, we'll talk about the treasurer's report. Dan, if you'd hey, good like morning. to the treasurer's report. Yes, good morning. So uh, our last meeting was in June. And so, uh, we were dark as far as general meetings in July and August. So uh, I've combined the three months, June, July, and August for the treasurer's report. Um, even though the uh, general meetings were dark, uh, your store managers and your board, everybody's been busy all summer long. Um, and so overall, we brought in uh, for the three months, the stores brought in uh, I'm just going to give general terms and I'll let the store managers go individually on their stores. But overall, $27,000 from the stores, we had uh, donations of almost 1500. We had memberships of almost 1500. We brought in for the, our gross profit for the three months was $30,179 wow. and 56 cents. Perfect. And we had our usual expenses. We, uh, we had an annual uh, contribution to the library plus one program. Uh, we had to renew our uh, liability insurance for the stores. We uh, have the usual rent and um, utilities and things like that and uh, paid all those off. And we still managed to uh, put, let's see here, $5,654.38 5, into the bank for future programs and collection development. So it was a good summer. Terrific. Thank you. Thank you. Our treasurer, Carol Carson, has not been well for the past few days. Um, our thoughts and prayers are with you, Carol. And we know that, please know that we love you. 
and um, and we miss you when you're not with us. Okay, and of course, Carol also is not only treasurer, but she publishes our book runs. Um, and she did a bang up job with the last one. She always does a wonderful job. And there was so much information in that. I hope you get a chance to read it. You can catch it on her website. Um, and she, she's just great. I mean, she's got this way about her that she just puts it together. And you know, um, I'm amazed at her technical skills at, you know, she grew, she grew with the, the technology, even with her Tesla. <laughs> There's the car that, yeah, so she's done really well with that. And enjoy the book notes this month. They're very good. Um, anyway, what's next? The treasurer's report. I'm out of, wait, I am out of sequence here. Let's have um, the library report. Hang on one second, okay? I'm way out of business, way out of sequence. I apologize. I have, I have my cue cards. You see, these are right here. And so <laughs> they're on the side. Um, this summer, as I said, you said we were busy, but also um, Elise Milkowski, our um, library manager, retired, which was kind of a, you know, a, another, it's a, it's a loss for us because she's been so good with us. We've enjoyed working with her and she's been great with the libraries and wonderful, wonderful programs. And I want to thank the board for going, uh, you know, for supporting um her and going to a retirement uh, ceremony, kind of ceremony at the town hall. We presented her a really beautiful, I thought beautiful bouquet, which was, I'm glad we did, bouquet of um, flowers and my little speech, but that paled compared to the kudos and accolades that were given to her by the town council. The town, they were amazing. And I'm sitting there with my little speech and they're like off the cuff with these presentations. and. Yeah, she's a hard act to follow. So um, we appreciate Agnes Rita for helping out uh, in the interim and for Cassia Estrada for helping out in the interim as well. And today we have Laura Davis, our, li our librarian, who's gonna update us on maybe there's a new librarian. Hi, Laura. Hey, how are you? Okay. <laughs> Can you hear me okay? Yep. Okay, great. Um, unfortunately, no, we have no word on a new director or manager. Oh, wow. Nothing at all. Uh, we are sad to say, um, uh, but we'll update you as soon as we know. Um, and um, yeah, and we're even um, losing April Phillips, um, our yeah. office assistant. She's going to be leaving next week on the 28th. Right. Um, yeah, so so hopefully we'll have more exciting news next month we could share with the new man, you know, with a new manager. But Agnes is doing a fabulous job. She's really an incredible person. And that's She's nice to know that every the library staff just steps up and does a great job yep. no matter and what. We all love her. Yeah. She's experts in their field. Yeah. And we love, I mean, we love Elise. I, I totally miss Elise. So yeah, she is a, a very much a hard act to follow. She's a, just as great of a manager as she was. She is even greater a person. I mean, yeah, so she was great. It is great. She's not gone. So, um, but as far as my update, I actually, we actually have quite a few things going on. Um, this week marks the, full, the first uh, in-house programming we've done in a year and a half, basically. So the children's have started with the bang. Yesterday, they, we started the story times and the dog tales again. Um, tomorrow, we do have virtual story time. Uh, Wednesday, we have preschool story time at 10 a.m. Um, and then Thursday, we have bilingual story time. And then Saturday is the first really, really big program we're going to have. Um, it's going to be a plant exchange at 10 a.m. on Saturday. And we're, we're expecting like two or 300 people. Um, and then we're gonna have, it's gonna be our, the premiere of our seed uh, uh, library. So I don't know if any of you heard of that. Um, that uh, Catherine Miller basically has spearheaded that. Um, gotten thousands of seeds and um, it's gonna be like a seed catalog that people can take seeds and plant them at home. And it's gonna, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be, um, if it doesn't, start that Saturday, we'll have it probably the following Monday where people can just take them home and plant. Uh, and then next week is the start of adult program. So we'll be having a book club on Tuesday. The book is A Couple Next Door. And that is uh, 
Tuesday, September 28th at 4.30. And then Wednesday, we have acrylic painting for adults, and that's at 3 o'clock. And then Monday, we'll be handing out kits for adults, Monday, October 4th, that week. Um, and we still have some teen kits available. Um, don't know if any of you heard that we now have automatic renewal starting. So we have um, uh, uh, started an automatic renewal where you, we, the, our patrons don't have to renew themselves. So we're kind of um, matching the rest of the county. So they renew up to four times. It's renewed about like three days before it's due. So wow. the patrons, yeah, don't have to worry about late fees unless there's a hold on the item. Um, and also today marks, uh, we're gonna have um, a local artist um, do a display in our heritage room. So he's a paper art artist. So that should be interesting and he'll be in very soon today. Um, so yeah, some exciting things and hopefully we'll be back with you soon and let you know who the manager is. Um, how, how is uh, Juanita doing by the way? Um, she's doing fine and she may be on um, today. She's, she's okay. doing okay. Thank you. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. All right. That is actually um, basically all that I have. We do, uh, oh, also we, for the California State Library, we've gotten some databases we're gonna start um, and have on our website. Uh, but that is um, all I have. Uh, is there any questions at all? Anyone? That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> Welcome back <laughs> to real life. I'm sure we'll go great. People will be are, are really participating. Evelyn, yes? I was just curious, you said auto renewals, but that would only apply if they're, if the book, or media is renewable, right? Right, right. Okay. So if it's not, then then it, it won't renew. Right. But uh, yeah. Very good. Thank you very much. Sure. To more and exciting, more exciting news. <laughs> the future. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Any anything else? Any other questions? Okay. Moving on, Karen, for membership. Yes. Thank you. Where are you? There. Uh, good fine. morning, everyone. I'm sorry, Rita. There you are. You're right in the center of my screen. I couldn't find you. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'm still here. Um, so um, thank you, everyone, for the whole membership effort that um, started in June and went through the entire summer. It took a team, um, and I must thank Dan, uh, our webmaster, who has sent out uh, reminders to people, as well as Pat, who helps me with emails and other kinds of contacting people that I can't reach. And then at the bookstores, I know there were uh, patrons are reminded to renew. And I am very grateful to Carol Carson and the book notes because um, she would put reminders to renew as well as the names of the people. Who I like that. I saw and, that. I like that. That was yeah. good. Yeah. So she had published. Um, the people from uh, in, in May who renewed, she had published the June and July list as well. So um, that's, those folks are already out there and we're very grateful to their renewal. Since then, in August, a number of people have renewed or uh, become new members. So I'd like to mention their name at this time. Um, Thank you very much for renewing. Jan, I see you here um, on the screen. So thank you, Jan MD. Also, um, longtime member Patricia Santo. Um, and we have a new person, um, Michelle Manley and Sierra Horwitz. In September, we had um, a new person join Dorothy Gallagher and Caitlin Mikas. And then I believe we had a renewal with Michelle Houston. So those were the most recent people who participated in our renewal or joining um, position. Also want to just mention, mostly thanks to Dan again, that we know that we had 50 individuals um, become individual members. We had 15 family members nine support members, one patron, and about 82 lifetime members. And I want to remind everyone now that we are in and out of the library that the Giving Tree is right there. 
as you enter, it's right on your left, and it has the names of the lifetime members. And I urge you to either look at your own link or look at the link for all of the others. Membership on the lifetime tree is $250, and that makes you a lifetime, and you do get a link on the library wall. If anybody has a friend or who wants to renew or who wants to um, become a member at this time, uh, there are forms available online at our website, as well as in both of the bookstores. And anyone in the bookstores can help you fill out a form and take your check uh, at that time. That's, I think, all I have at this moment. Uh, are there any questions? Um, National Libraries Week, do you want to share anything about all that? Right. It, I absolutely will. I wasn't sure if it was me or if it was going to be Pat. Yes, National Libraries Week is coming up in October. The, the part um, we're in the library only, okay? And then Pat will be the other part. Okay. Okay, great. Um, so we are going to be celebrating across the country, uh, libraries across the United States celebrate during that week, a lot of friends of the library, the people who support the libraries throughout our country. And we will be um, on our October 19th meeting, we'll be mentioning that again, because that's during the library week. It starts the week of the 16th and goes through the 23rd. We also um, will have representatives of the Friends in the library throughout that week at a little table with a sign telling you what the Friends do for the library, as well as membership uh, applications. And little giveaways tend, the giveaways tend to be more, mostly for children. And I do tend to show up uh, during the story times that our, um, our librarian, Laura, just mentioned. Uh, to try and get, uh, you know, some interest uh, in, in, our, in our friends and to get some new members. And also just get the word out that the friends are there and they do help the library and all of the programs that the library has. Um, so we hope you'll be able to stop by during the week of October 16th at some point and see our um, board and see our brochures and just say hello if you will. Do you, do you need anyone to man the table with you? Or? Well, if there are, um, I plan to do it, of course, but if there is anyone who would like to join us, um, they can contact me at um, our website, I guess, and let us know if you would like to join or, you know, can contact me at the Town Square bookstore as well, because I'm in and out there all the time. And I could get a message if you wanted to call. But if anyone's interested, yes, thank you. Good. Thank you. Please. It's a fun afternoon or morning, whatever your, your assignment is. And um, I thank you, Karen, for doing that. That's You're welcome. Uh, it's planned during National Friends of Libraries Week. Um, and it's a, this is an important time for us to reach out to the community and to invite new members and friends of friends and um, and because membership is important to us, uh, we have no fundraisers other than the bookstores. And, um, and I have to give you my 30 second commercial because as president of the Friends, um, I have to brag a little bit about our energetic group of volunteers. And they're really primarily in the bookstores and in the library. We don't do fundraisers as such, as I said. And um, since 1996, when the Friends started, we have raised over a million point one dollars, a million point one dollars, and uh, over um, over eight hundred and fifty thousand of that money has gone into um, the library itself, and that's really it's going directly for use for the programs. As um, Laura had said, they're starting with their programs, and the and Dan had said we gave our annual, you know monies for that um and so it's it's really it's a good it's all volunteer and and that's how we do it so it's easy to be a member and to utilize our bookstore and whatever and we don't ask much of you other than to join and bring your friends in to join us um, at this time i'm going to thank both of our bookstore managers who've worked very hard over the summer and haven't had any accolades and to thank their volunteers as well um, Nancy, are you available to present your um, 
review. Yes, uh, I'm here. I'm here. Good. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Thank you. Okay, good. Thank you. Oh, that's, uh, no, that's the big phone. Okay, there you go. Good. Are you okay? That's it. I can't tell. Am I ready? Ready. Yes. I, I'll keep my mouth shut. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh, this is for the um, months of uh, June to August. And because we were dark during those months, I did the whole thing together. So the total gross was $21,096, expenses $16,477, for a net of $4,619. Saturday, we had our um, sidewalk sale, overstock sidewalk sale, and we made $1,350.25. Um, we normally make more uh, inside than out, but that was different. This we made 700 of that outside. With for those of you who don't know, the hardbacks are a dollar, the paperbacks are a quarter. Uh, we have a few 50 cent things, so uh, 700 that's a lot of books, and 650 25 inside. It was an amazing day. We had so much great help. I will, um, list all those people probably in the uh, book notes. I didn't, um, don't have a list today, but primarily Kathy and Greg Cagle and Ann Hickey uh, opening up in the morning with um, Esteban and then and uh, Charlie um, Slagle. And it's just so weird to be only talking on the phone. I can't see anybody's face whether I'm <laughs> reacting. I don't know if anybody has any questions. Any um, questions? Okay. All right. Okay. All the volunteers healthy and safe? Uh, yes um, and no. <laughs> we have we have the two Gregs and Greggy just came down. He was vaccinated mm -hmm. but got, got it from somebody and but he's okay, just minor symptoms, but he hasn't been in the store and he, he was supposed to help on the weekend but he couldn't because of that. Okay. Otherwise all our everybody else is good. Thank you, Nancy. Thank the volunteers. We always appreciate what they do. Okay, good. Okay, and Maggie, Miss Maggie, go on. Okay, can you hear me better today? Pardon? Can you hear me better today? Who? Can you hear me, my voice? Can you oh, yeah, me? okay, I'm oh, sorry. Uh, not always, but go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. I have my, my Dan? Wait a minute, Dan has a question. What, Dan? I just want to... Uh... Nancy couldn't get onto the computer, so she called in on her phone. And with her headset, shes uh, I can hear her breathing in the headset, so her phone symbol comes up on the screen. Uh, I'm going to mute Nancy for now, okay. if that's okay oh, with Nancy. Okay. And then you'll still be able to hear Thank everything. And we Thank you. <laughs> okay? So that's that's what's going to happen okay. here. And sorry, Thank Maggie. You. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Okay, Maggie, go ahead. Okay. Well, the story is doing fairly well. Of course, we have uh, volunteers, although a lot of people want to still, still uh, stay away. But the store sales for August was the, for the store was 1,108.25. The internet made $775.75 for a grand total of $1,884. So that was. That and that's so, and that's. <laughs> It's in this little store on the corner of the library, which is great. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, Mar Maggie's been very good with that. And, and her internet sales are great. I love it. I love it. Uh, again, this is our chief source of funds. So please remember to support our bookstores and join us as a volunteer, if you'd like, or in, in one of the bookstores or just come in and buy some books. Um, thank you very much. Um, the two managers do a tremendous job. And Maggie, like everybody else, wears two hats, and she and Judy call our program chair. Um, they've worked very hard over the past years to provide us with excellent programs, but all good things must come to an end. And unfortunately, they've handed, fortunately for them, but not for us, they've handed in their, or submitted their resignations, effective, both of them, two, two resignations as program chairs, not just one, but two. So both of them have submitted the resignation as chairs of the program committee. Um, it sounds like a fun position. You get to meet all the authors and artists and performers. And, um, you know, we really appreciate everything that they've done. We've had some excellent 
programs over the years. Um, and we thank you very much. Yeah, and you. know that you will be enjoying a little more relaxed life. Although Maggie is still the chair of, of the bookstore, the manager of the bookstore, and Judy, Judy has herself involved in other many other things. So thank you very much. And um, if Maggie would like to let us know what the programs for the future are that they've already got planned <laughs> to hold us for a couple months. Yeah, our guest of course for this month, for this today in September, will be Margaret Menke. Uh, she's a pianist and has been a piano teacher for 25 years. So she will give us a piano concert. And of course, because we went to live Zoom, it has been pre-recorded. Uh, Dan did a very good job and saw the program. It has been pre-recorded. And then she will be introducing the pieces that she plays. For October uh, 21st meeting, we will be honored to have Murrieta, city manager, Kimberly Summers. She will be talking about the state of the city, commitment to ethical government, and I think it will be really, really interesting. Um, we have no guests yet for November. We keep on looking, and we hope we find somebody good. And of course, in December, we had a Christmas party, so uh, I don't know what's going to happen due to the COVID, where you know we will have one or not. And this is all about the programs. Thank you very much. Good. Sounds like exciting stuff. Um, Kim, I think will be wonderful. We're looking forward to Margaret a little and a little later on. Um, we have just a few more things, so bear with us before we get to Margaret's program. Uh, again, thank you, Judy and Maggie, for all that you've done. If anyone wants to step up, it will certainly be in the book notes and we will put it you know, a job app, so to speak, online uh, in the need blast so that everyone knows that there's fun and exciting things to do with them as a volunteer here. Um, I do publicity. Um, I'm always looking for another publicity uh, chairperson. Uh, and if you happen to know somebody who likes to write and does good things like that, please let me know. Um, I keep hearing, I keep saying, please let me know, please let me know. Anyway, um, this is one of the reasons we need to recruit new members. So all those new members, we need to ask them if they would like to do something fun and exciting besides just listen to the wonderful programs. Um, special events is Pat Farmer. Pat. Yes. I am really excited to let all of you know, all of the friends of the library know what our library is doing for us this year. We are, they are putting on a party for us to celebrate National Friends of the Library Week. We're gonna meet together in our little garden there uh, at the library and we will get a chance to talk to the library staff and uh, have a good time, have a mocktail. I had to be informed what a mocktail is, but they are gonna provide that and little appetizers for us. This event is going to happen Saturday, the 23rd of October, and it is going to be from 5 to 6.30. And uh, certainly all of the friends are invited, and you can bring your friends along too, so we can have a, a great time. After our little get-together, um, oh, where there's going to be a giveaway as well, so that will be fun. We'll all have a chance for a prize. After that, we're, we can go out to our new beautiful amphitheater and they will have a music program for us. And which sounds like it's gonna be really great fun. So we have got this very, very exciting evening coming up. So mark your calendars and for October the 23rd and uh, from four to 5 p.m. Or, yes, and and then later on at the um, at the amphitheater, which is of course, as you know, right behind the library. What Are is the, what is the time? I'm just stumbling over that myself. I it I have four to Aaron? five. Aaron, what, what what Pat thing? It was from four to five is the mocktail. Yes, four to five is the mocktail, and then from five to six thirty is at the amphitheater. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
And, but as I say, it is for, for the friends of the library, but if you've got a friend that wants to become part of us or you want to show off our library, please uh, feel free to bring them to this event. Yeah, this is done by the staff. And I think this is a wonderful thing during library, Friends of Library, Libraries Week um, to help us to recruit new members and to give an aware, a community awareness of the Friends and the, certainly the library. But I love the fact that they're combining it with um, a little show behind, you know, in the amphitheater, which is directly behind the library. Karen. Um, and the little show um, is going to comprise uh, students in the Marietta Valley Unified School District doing a variety of um, little musical uh, or dance events. Um, so it's not professional people, but it's local people that are near and dear to our hearts. So I just wanted to be clear that you'll be seeing student performers. Thank you. But, but our, our students are great. I mean, I've heard and been to see them before the different groups and I think it'll be enjoyable for, uh, for all of us. So, and uh, do think of bringing, um, we're gonna have chairs uh, out there for people, but you could bring a blanket to sit on at the amphitheater or, you know, your own chair if, if you wish. But looking forward to seeing all of us, <laughs> all of us there. Uh, to celebrate. I, now, un I unfortunately will not be there. I, if I get there, I'll be there at four o'clock till maybe 4.15. We have a show that's planned that night and we've been, you know, it's been in the works for months since, um, since, it since we opened up. And so the date was set and stone, <laughs> you know, is that we're, you know, by the time you get into full makeup, into a costume and whatever, it's, it's crazy. So Thank you very much. And we have an early call. So thank you very much, everybody who's involved with this and for representing. I would like to be there early on and to say hi to people. Also, I want to thank Cassia Estrada and uh, Agnes Rita, especially Cassia. She came new to this library and just dove in full force and just has started working, you know, all sorts of wonderful things with us and um, has great plans and we're excited to work, uh, always excited to work with the librarian. So thanks again to Cassia and to Agnes Rita. Um, oh, any questions, Pat? Pat, you still have, you're still on. Yes, Go ahead. I do. <laughs> mm. um, so another fun thing that we have going up is the Murrieta Rotary's Field of Honor. And the flags will be flying at our field by the amphitheater, November the 6th through the 13th. Every year, the Friends of the Valley help the Rotary Club by selling uh, the flags. So each year we get a chance to get our own flag from the Rotary and put it out there. In fact, this year, I think the Friends, we're going to have our own flag too, flying out there. You may get these tickets at the corner store. That's the one on Los Alamos, the Friends of the Corner Store. And um, then we do get a, a little bit of um, a thank you money uh, for doing that for them. So please mark that on your calendar uh, and go and see the Rotary Club's Field of Honor. And as I say, November the 6th to the 13th and visit the corner store bookstore to uh, get your flag or pay for your flag to be put up in the field. So that was a really, that's a really nice annual event that we help with. The other one we've been helping with over the years are, is the Christmas trees. And this, this year, once again, we're going to join with um, Oak Grove School. That's a special school for uh, uh, children. And they are gonna pick the theme for us. And then we are going to help them uh, make the ornaments for the tree and they're going to come out and help us decorate our tree. And I gotta say, we've been winning prizes for our trees the last few years. <laughs> so that's a fun thing we're doing in the community as well. So we've got three great programs that we are gonna be part of this, this fall in the end of the year, so. And, and it's all jammed in the last quarter of the year, which is true. <laughs> Everything is something to do in the spring as well, so that's good. Um, 
Thank you, Pat. She's been busy. Evelyn? Um, Pat, in the yes. past, the Town Square bookstore has also sold the flags. Are we not doing that this year? Um, I own, well, I would like us to do it at both bookstores. I um, had the forum before. Pardon? We had the forums for the year. Yeah, they've always done it. Yeah. Yes, oh, that's great. It was right. because of the way things are in our time schedule um, with the Town Square store. I did not get an answer on that, but if we're all behind it, I'm, I think that would be great to have it at both the Town Square okay. and the corner store. Yes. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you, Nan. Okay. Anything else? Any other questions about our exciting events for the fall? <laughs> mm -hmm. Good, good. Um, did I miss anything for old business? Okay. We have just a tiny bit of new business to discuss. Um, elections will be coming up in January and you know how quickly time flies. Um, consider a, a position on the board. Uh, you know, we may have people who are changing over on the board in this year. So, uh, it's a great way to get to know the inside workings of the library as well as the friends of the library. Um, and I actually never considered even thinking about it. I moved here, joined friends right away because I had a husband who had Alzheimer's. So I had to do something that was kind of stimulating for him. So I did that for like five months until his demise continued. And then it wasn't able, it wasn't able to do that. And never came back until Luann Ferrer said to me, call me up. I, I didn't even know this woman. And she, and she lives in the library, and the community rather. And she said, um, would you be considered a position as director on the board? And I said, sure, you know, um, and because I love the friends and I had supported them um, for years at home as well as here. And so um, I took on that position and then it really has been interesting. And I, it's been a learning curve over 10 years seriously. Um, and I've gotten to know the community and the, the, you know, the players in the community and it's been great. So I really um, encourage anyone to think about stepping up again, call me, call Pat, whomever, um, stepping up to um, take a position as a director mm -hmm. or, or as a chairman, certainly a chairman. Um, if you don't want to be a director, there you go. Um, Thank you very much, everyone. Um, is there any other business that I missed? Okay. Um, again, it's good to see you all. Thank you for joining us at, you know, at the, the venue change so quickly. Um, and I'm sure I apologize to Margaret if there aren't as many people as we would like here, but it would have probably been more if we were in person and we can always aspire to that, hopefully next month or the month after. Um, we're gonna take a little break. We invite you to stay on. Ordinarily at this time, you would have some delightful refreshments. I don't know that they'd be that delightful if they're prepackaged <laughs> if we're in person right now during this thing, but um, take this time to refresh that cup of coffee or tea and come back in a, in a few minutes and Maggie will introduce our speaker. And again, be sure to mute your com computer and thank you all for coming. <laughs>